Right, I'm going to prove to you the earth is flat using this very expensive technology here. Now they do say the camera never lies and this Canon 5D Mark III with a built-in horizon just like what's on an aeroplane ain't going to tell lies. We've got it set up and calibrated here on that bubble. Yep. And a backup on the other bubble down there. Yep. Oh, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, now focus on that. Let me in because I can just need to pan around on the fluid head. Yeah? Is that level to the horizon? Absolutely. Okay, let's loosen the fluid head up and just pan around a bit. Okay, keep your eye on this uh, horizon there. We go round and round and round. Now, as we pan around, we're going to do something like a 180 here. By the time we get to 90 degrees, which is off that kind of direction there, just past the Farn Islands, you should expect to see a hump in the middle of the sea, if it was a globe Earth. But as you can see, that line is still flat to the horizon. There's the Farn Islands. I think we've lost it now. No, no, it's alright, it's fine. It's yeah, that's alright. That's, that's where you would expect to see the bulge in the globe Earth, just about there. But we're going to pan round and we're going to do the full scientific 180 test. And that is going to stay, that's just stayed on that horizon line on the sea all the way round. If anybody wants to dispute a £2,000 camera, an 150 quid fluid head, and an 80 quid tripod and this scientific test I will challenge you to do so here and now the earth is flat I didn't believe it I just didn't but I couldn't believe I couldn't get it into my head but the camera never lies well, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna prove you wrong now. 